neck office. Can you tell us what's happening right now? We're actually are not quite sure what is happening. There are supposed to have been some collation in some of the local governments in Oredo and Ipobaoha. All of a sudden, some people came in through tear gas and kind of drove everybody that was there outside the office. They've now insisted that all of those collations should come into the high neck headquarters. The problem was our agents then started telling us that they were not being allowed into high neck headquarters. So my deputy and I came in here to find out why they are not allowing our agents into the collation center. There are too many funny things going on all of a sudden. And there seems to be high neck complicity, police complicity working together. And this cannot be right for democracy in this country. You know, they're trying to subvert the will of the people of Edo State, and it will not happen. By God's grace, it cannot happen. Edo State people will stand and fight for their rights. All of a sudden, you see all these funny results coming out of Edo North. It doesn't make sense. How do you have the full number of accredited voters or people who took PVCs when you know averagely it's 25% to 28% for a good election of people that turn up Eh, for the election out of those that are truly accredited. How? All of a sudden they're having 90%, 100%. And everybody sees this clearly. But we want to subvert democracy in this country by all means. And I don't know why we do this thing to ourselves in this country. The desperation for power by those who have nothing to offer the people of this country is just incredible. So was your plea now, sir? No, I, I don't have a plea. The people of Edo State who have exercised their right to vote and have exercised it in the direction they want for the candidates that they want will stand up and fight for their rights. It's not about me. It's about us.